Hello, my friends. According to forecasts, global agricultural production will have to double by the year 2050 to meet the world's demand for food, fiber, and fuel. To achieve this goal, the application of modern machinery in cultivation and animal husbandry is, well, absolutely mandatory. In today's video, let's explore together how farmers use these types of machinery. Farmers often use articulated tractors because of their easy turning and movement, even in narrow fields or rough terrain. In the early stages of the crop, the machine takes on the task of plowing and tilting the soil. Next is the stage of creating beds and furrows. The driver attaches specialized parts to the rear of the machine to create straight rows. The mower, the main part that performs the cutting, is the sickle bar with many sharp triangular cutter blades attached. As the farmer pushes the machine forward, the back and forth movement of the blades causes the grass to be clamped and cut off. Simply put, this machine works similarly to hair clippers. Currently, there is also a type of lawn mower equipped with a driving motor, which saves effort when clearing grass on large fields or uneven rough ground. Terrain in the field seed drills move continuously. At this time, the grounded wheel transmits force to rotate the agitator in the hopper, helping to distribute seeds down the seed tubes. The drill bits create furrows on the ground to place the seeds in the correct position. The use of seed drills helps sow seeds at the correct rate and depth, ensuring the seeds are covered with soil, which can significantly improve crop yield when compared to manual methods. This is a vegetable harvesting tool called a quick cut green. When operating, the user simply moves the tool along the vegetable rows. During movement, the system of soil wires at the front gently guides the vegetable leaves into the blade position. The blade is set at a reasonable height, enough to cut the leaf stems off but still leave roots in the soil. Immediately after cutting, the leaves are pushed backward and fall into a collection basket directly attached to the tool. At the end of harvest season, corn harvesters can operate non-stop. Modern corn harvesters have a capacity of up to 400 tons per hour, saving time and space. The farmer controls the machine to move along the corn rows. At the front of the machine is a cutting head with multiple continuously rotating blades. These are responsible for cutting the corn stalks close to the ground. After being cut, the corn stalks are fed into the machine body and chopped into small pieces. After the chopping process, the corn is discharged directly into the truck's container. In addition, farmers also use dry bean threshers. The dry bean thresher moves along the rows to harvest the bean plants and then transfers them to the threshing unit. When the bean plants pass through, the rotating shafts hit the pods, separating the beans from the pods, similar to when we use a pestle to pound. After being separated from the pods, the beans continuously pass through a shaking and seething unit to remove any remaining debris. As a result, the beans after processing are cleaner and more uniform. The clean beans are then transported by elevators and conveyors and poured into containers. The stems and pods after processing are discharged and can be used as organic fertilizer or fuel. On large farms, potato harvesters are also commonly used. When starting operation, the digging blades at the front of the machine penetrate the soil, turning over the entire soil layer containing the potatoes. This process helps to separate the potatoes from the soil without damaging the tubers. After being dug up, the soil and potatoes are transferred to the conveyor system at the rear of the machine. As the mixing moves along the conveyor belt, soil, rocks, weeds and potato roots fall through the gaps. Potatoes that have been separated from soil and impurities are transferred to another conveyor belt. From here, the machine will transfer the potatoes to an integrated container or directly into a container truck for sale. The harvest rate of the machine reaches 97%, meaning that almost all the potatoes in the ground are collected without any being left behind. Thanks to this, productivity and work efficiency are significantly improved. Instead of having to mix feed by hand, farmers today often use livestock feed mixers. First, the operator uses the suction unit at the front of the machine to draw the ingredients into the container. 
During this process, the electronic weighing system on the machine automatically measures the weight of each ingredient. Once the ingredients have been put into the container, the mixing shafts and mixing grid will thoroughly mix all of the ingredients, creating a mixture with a uniform texture. Water can be added to make the mixing process easier. Modern mixers can have a capacity of up to 21 cubic meters of feed in just one mix. After mixing is complete, the operator simply adjusts the discharge chute to deliver the mixed ration to the livestock feeding trough. For harvesting strawberries nowadays, farmers use automatic robots to perform the entire process. In the nursery, the robot moves along the strawberry rows thanks to a pre-programmed positioning system. While moving, the robot continuously scans images of the strawberry plants with an integrated camera to accurately identify the location of ripe fruits. When a strawberry fruit is detected to have reached the standard ripeness, the robot controls the harvesting arm to move closer to the fruit stalk. The cutting unit is designed for quick and precise operation, cutting the stalk without damaging the plant or surrounding fruits. Immediately after cutting, the robot arm continues to move the harvested strawberry and gently places it in the collection basket inside the machine. This process is repeated continuously with high precision, ensuring that the fruit is harvested at the right time and maintains its shape. Freshness in recent years, current harvesters have also been widely used. The harvester moves along the rows with a lifting unit at the front that is responsible for pulling out the entire carrot body and root out of the ground at the same time. This, you know, minimizes breakage and wastage. After being lifted, the carrots are fed into the machine body through a conveyor system or specialized gripping unit. An automatic cutting unit will remove the leaves above the stem, leaving only the cling tuber. After the leaves are removed, the carrots are then pushed onto a conveyor belt to be moved out. The carrots will then be fed into containers or collection vehicles at the rear of the machine. Thanks to the application of machinery in harvesting, carrot production has increased significantly. In 2021, global current production reached around 41.7 million tonnes. On livestock farms, farmers use sheep shearing machines to harvest the thick fleece of the sheep. First, the farmer needs to turn the sheep onto its back so that it lies still. Then they move the machine from under the belly, then over the legs, and finally the back of the sheep. When the motor is turned on, it causes the blades to move back and forth at high speed, which cuts the wool as it passes through. Uh, they don't like shearing dorsets as much because they have to be. The shearing process is quite fast, usually taking only three minutes for experienced shearers. After shearing, the sheep will be released back to its flock. One sheep can yield up to 44 pounds of wool per year used for weaving fabric for blankets or warm clothes. Nowadays, there is also the Golden Shears International Sheep Shearing Championship for people to compete in shearing sheep in a short amount of time. Farmers can use sheep wool balers to store wool more neatly. First, the farm will put the sheep wool onto a storage chamber that is in line with the sack. Next, the machine's compression system will be activated to press the sheep wool down into bales. The farmer will then add more sheep wool into the empty space. When the desired compression is reached, the machine will automatically maintain pressure for around 10 seconds for the sheep wool to form a bale. They will tie and release the bale of sheep wool from the machine to prepare it for... ...sale. And those are the modern types of machinery used in cultivation and animal husbandry. Thank you for watching the entire video. If you find this video useful, please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss our next piece of content.